Hi guys, I'm Claudio and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable your Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3 in Automobilista 2. At the date when this video was recorded, Automobilista 2 had just been released in its early access version. Therefore, a software update from Next Level Racing to officially support the game was yet to be released. But hey, don't stress. As you may know, the new game has a lot in common with Project Cars 2. With that in mind, I decided to create my own profile using Project Cars plugin. Here's how I did it. Let's bring up the Platform Manager. Now, if you have one of the Project Cars games, you'll have your game profiles already here. If you don't, ho don't own those games, don't worry. Just go to the top of the window and make sure you've got all game profiles visible. Scroll down until you find Project Cars, either one or two. When you do, click on it and then click the Clone button on the left-hand side. I'm going to select the Project Cars for this example, Project Cars 2 for this example, sorry. A new window will pop up, and now this is a critical part of the process. Deflag Shallow Copy and rename your profile to whatever you like. I'm going to call, you, call it Automobilista 2. Find your new profile. To make it easier, select Only Installed in the drop-down menu at the top of the window. Click on your new profile and press Edit. In the field Input Plugin on the new window, select Project Cars or Project, Project Cars 2 to match what you copied it from. In my case, it's Project Cars 2. In the field Transformation Type, select Script. Go now to the box beneath and select the tab Other. You may or may not have any of these fields. If this is empty, Click Add here below. Since I play sometimes on triple monitors but also in VR, I needed a no VR and a Steam VR set of instructions. Here you basically point the software to the game as executable files and because there are two different .exe files for VR and non-VR environments, that's why I've got two separate commands. Now, you just need to locate the Automobilista 2 executable files. In my case, it's the folder Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Automobilista 2, AMS2.exe for the non-VR setting. And let's repeat the process for the Steam VR. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Automobilista 2, AMS2AVX.exe this time. Hit OK or double click. Save and close when, when done. Make sure your profile is active by clicking Activate and you can now open up the game. I'm going to start the game in a non-VR mode.
the game is now loading. In a few seconds will be a few seconds will be in the menu. And then we'll have to go in options, system, shared memory. Options, system, shared memory, and select project cars to match your profile. In my case, it's Project Cars 2. We don't need any of the UDP uh, options here. So let's leave it like that. Restart the game, select your favorite car and track combo, and adjust your just created motion platform profiles profile to your liking. Now, I've already got the profile created, so I'm not restarting the game. I'm going to show you, however, the platform diagnostic window while driving and that, it, and that is to demonstrate that the software is reading the telemetry data from the game and outputting signal to the motion platform. Start. Let's take the first pin. So this is how you create your Automobilista 2 profile for Motion Platform V3. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on track.